Hi everyone, welcome back to the Ruby League History Channel. Today I will be doing the 2023 Paul Carriage Award. The Paul Carriage Award is the eldest award as part of the Ruby League History brand. I first created it back in 2013, five years before the official start of Ruby League History on Facebook. The Paul Carriage Award, if you didn't know, is named after Parramatta player Paul Carriage, who played for the club between 1997 and 1998. And he was infamous for his performance in Parramatta's preliminary final loss against Canberra Bankstown, where the club led 18 points to two with less than 10 minutes to play and ended up losing an extra time, 32 points to 20. So the award quite essentially goes to the player that has had the worst performance in a finals game and it is named in his honour. So let's get straight into the nominations tonight. The first nomination is for Melbourne setter Marion Seve, who played in the club's preliminary final loss against Penrith. In this match, Seve had a shocker. He missed three crucial tackles, he gave away two penalties, and he also had three handling errors. And there were a couple of times where Melbourne were finally starting to get a bit of a roll on through the sets, so or they were trying to get out of their danger zone. And on each occasion, Seve would either lose the ball. Or if Penrith were on the attack, there was once or twice where they were in their danger zone and Sevier would be penalised for holding down the player too long or infringing in the rook, which was really damaging for Melbourne. You could argue that there were other Melbourne players that had a shocker that night, but for me, Marigan Sevier really stood out. He wasn't up to standard for that particular game. The second nominee is young Tonham Appear of Melbourne. He played in the club's qualifying final loss against Brisbane, which ended up 26-0 in favour of Brisbane. Young Tonham Appear didn't have the best day on the field. He missed six tackles. He was found out in defence. I think there was quite a couple of tries that were scored down his side of the field. He gave away two penalties. And as a centre, he only had seven runs for 50 metres. And it was no surprise that for the semi-final against Sydney Roosters and for the preliminary final against Penrith, young Tonham Appear was not selected by Craig Bellamy. The third nominee tonight is Adam Pompey of New Zealand. Some people might see this as a bit harsh, but he didn't have a very good game. He missed three tackles, he gave away two penalties, made two handling errors. I believe one of them was on the first tackle when they were in good field position. And he also was sin bin for a professional foul, which pretty much killed any chance of New Zealand coming back into the game. He was also the designated kicker in the match. And even though he's not particularly a full arm goal kicker, he missed all three conversions, which instead of New Zealand potentially being 24 points of eating down, they were 24 points to 12 down. So I know that some people might, they might see this as a bit critical of Adam Pompey, but I think that he really had a shocker in that preliminary final and he'd probably want to forget that game altogether. And the fourth and final nominee on this list is Rhys Walsh. Now, I know along with Adam Pompey, some people might go, I'm being a bit harsh, but I think that Rhys Walsh overall had a pretty poor grand final. He were very quiet in the first half. In total, he made three handling errors. Some of them were crucial. He missed three tackles. He kicked the ball dead, I think once or twice, which resulted in a seven tackle set. There was another time that a, a kick was put through and all he had to do was just get the ball and run straight back at the Penrith defence, but he decided to crab across field and he were collared and thrown back in the end goal, which resulted in Brisbane having to do a line dropout, which I think Adam Reynolds off that one kicked the ball out in the full, which gave Penrith a penalty. There were a couple of times in the match as well where he were caught out defensively with the kicks. There was a few times where Cleary would put in a kick and he'd be out of position. And there was one time where Cleary put a, a kick over the top and luckily the ball managed to bounce dead because Reese Walsh was nowhere to be seen. Now, some people have blamed Reese Walsh for the Nathan Cleary try right at the end of the grand final, but I don't really think that he's to blame for that. Second half, he were a bit better. He did make two line breaks one of them set up a try for Ezra Mam but besides that I think by his standards and by what people thought he had a very poor game so I'm going to give him a nomination but there can only be one winner for the Paul Carriage Award and 
I thought about it a bit today, who I think deserves it this year, and I'm going to give it to Marion Sevy of Melbourne for his performance in the 2023 preliminary final. Marion Sevy is the winner of the 2023 Paul Carriage Award. I just made my decision based off the individual matches and the actual individual errors by each player. And I really think with Marion Sevy's errors that he made, he made them at crucial times. He gave away penalties at crucial times. And I think it really hurt Melbourne and it really hampered their chances of even getting close to Penrith in that match. And just before I go, let's look back at every Paul Carriage Award winner since 2013. The inaugural winner of the Paul Carriage Award, David the Wolfman Williams, for his performance in the 2013 NRL Grand Final. Tony Williams, also known as T-Rex, 2014 NRL Grand Final. Ben Hunt and his infamous performance in the 2015 NRL Grand Final. Edric Lee for his performance in the 2016 Preliminary Final for Canberra, where he bombed two tries which ultimately cost Canberra a place in the Grand Final. Blake Ferguson, 2017 Preliminary Final, Sydney Roosters against North Queensland. Cameron Munster for his performance in the 2018 NRL Grand Final where he was sin bin twice, including a second time for kicking Joey Manu in the back. Darius Boyd, 2019 Elimination Final, Parramatta against Brisbane where they lost 58-0. Mitchell Moses, 2020 Elimination Final against South Sydney. 2021, Ray Stone for his performance in the 2021 Elimination Final against Penrith. 2022, Tarnay Mill, South Sydney against Penrith, Preliminary Final. And that concludes the 2023 Paul Carriage Award, which went to Marion Sevier. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. As usual, I'm going to expect the odd negative comment from someone that says, how dare you? say this about the players how dare you criticize their poor moments but 90 percent of the comments are fine people can see it's a bit of fun it's a bit of a joke it's somewhat unique it's not something that any other content creator does out there but let me know in the comment section below who do you think should have won the paul carriage award this year did i miss someone was i being too hard on reese walsh was i being too hard on adam pompey you let me know in the comment section below now even though the rugby league season's over in terms of the NRL, my page doesn't stop. I'm still going to be posting stuff. I've got the Neville Glover Award coming out this week. I'm also going to be doing the 2023 Rugby League YouTuber End of Season Awards. I'm going to be putting out nominations for that very shortly. So um, please vote on all them categories and vote for your favourite YouTubers. But once again, this has been Rugby League History. And I'll catch us all later in the next video. Alright, ta-ra for now.